Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the ornament mock-up in Photoshop. We're going to be working a lot in the layers panel, so if you don't see the layers panel, go to Window, Layers to open it up. To add your design to the ornament, you're going to want to click this arrow next to the ornament layer, and that'll expand the ornament layer group. And then just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash ornament layer. And this will open up a smart object where we can copy and paste the design. And then go to File, Open. <clears throat> and find the design. And then go to Select All. Then Edit, Copy. And click back on the Smart Object tab. And go to Edit, Paste. You might need to resize this. I'm going to press Command minus to zoom out. You could press Control minus if you're on a PC. To resize, we'll go to Edit, Free Transform. And in newer versions of Photoshop, you can just click and drag any one of the four corners to resize it. In older versions, you used to have to hold down the Shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if you're resizing and you see it getting distorted, just go to Edit, Undo, and then do the opposite of whatever you were just doing, whether that's holding on the Shift key or not holding it down. And then when you've got that the way you want it, just go to File, Save. And you can click the X to close the Smart Object. And you can close the original design. And you'll see it put it on the ornament just like that for us. You can also change the color of the ornament. So we'll click the eye icon to hide the design for a second. Now to change the color, just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash ornament layer. And then click anywhere in the rainbow slider. And click in the gradiated box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. If you wanted more contrast on the ornament, you could click the eye icon to turn on the more shading layer, and then click on the more shading layer, and click the down arrow next to opacity, and drag the slider to the right to make it more contrasty, or the left to make it more subtle. You can change the color of the ribbon. To do that, click the arrow next to ribbon, and then double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash ribbon layer. And then we'll click in this slider anywhere here. You can also click in this gradiated box if you wanted to change the lightness or darkness. You can also enter the color values if you know them. And there's a little shadow right here underneath the ribbon. If you want a little bit of a color cast on that shadow, you could expand the ribbon shadow layer group by clicking the arrow next to ribbon shadow. and then click this down arrow next to Ribbon Copy Strap Shadow. And you'll see this effects at the bottom. You click the eye icon, click next to effects to turn it on. You'll see the eye icon when it's on. And then double click the word color overlay. And this will open up the layer style panel. When color overlay is selected, you can double click the little color swatch. And then just click on the ribbon anywhere to select that color, and then I'll apply a color cast the same color as the ribbon on the ornament. I have the uh, color overlay here turned off by default, but if you want a little bit of a color cast in your shadow, you can turn it on. And that's all there is to adding your design to the ornament mock-up in Photoshop. To save that, um, if you want to use it online as a thumbnail like on Etsy, you'll want to save a version as a JPEG. So just go to File, Save As, and then click on this drop down menu next to Format and just change it to JPEG. And you could click Save. You could also save a layered uh, PSD by selecting Photoshop. And then just clicking up here and you know, changing the name so maybe you can have a layered PSD file for each of your designs. 
please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.